Hello everybody, my name is Temi Banjo, a beauty and a lifestyle blogger right here in Lagos, Nigeria. So I have put together some beautiful, luscious, mouth-watering meals um, and it's titled Nigerian Keto Meals. So if you have been wanting to go on a keto diet for the longest time but don't have ideas of what to eat, I have put together some good meals for you that you can dig into. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell like symbol so you always get a notification whenever I upload new videos. So keep watching to see how I achieve all these meals. <laughs> I have some clean prawns and shrimps here so I'm just going to spice it up by adding some salt, some cameroon pepper, ginger powder, garlic powder, half a seasoning cube and some um, sesame oil, some soy sauce and I'm just going to give this a very good mix. So I have my hot pan here, I'm going to add my shrimps and my prawns into my hot pan for it to fry. This doesn't take long to cook at all that's why i prefer this to um, chicken or beef so we're just going to turn this around till it's done see how creamy and golden it looks i have here um bama mayonnaise some cheese um lettuce and my prawns i'm just going to add a generous amount of mayonnaise to my prawns and shrimps and give this a good mix also until i am satisfied with the outcome I'm going to take my lettuce now and lay it down while I put some cheese on it and then add my shrimps and prawns onto this lovely butter. I mean, this is my shawarma. It goes in so well. This is a good way to sneak in some vegetables into your diet. You won't even notice you are eating um, so much vegetables. So this is it. Next, I have my um, okra here. I like to cut my okra this way rather than grating it because if you grate it you are going to end up having it the liquidy or the drawing type and for this type of mem food you want to make you don't want it to look that way so I'm just going to give it some extra chopping right here I have some pomo, I have um, meat, I have um, stock fish, clean prawns and shrimps and i also have some pepper this is rodo the hot spicy one so i'm just going to pour my pepper into a cooking pot my shrimps and prawns my pomo my um stockfish then the beef i know this is supposed to be a seafood um okra but i just saw the uh, meat staring at me so i had to just take it along with me so i'm spicing up my food with some salt, pepper, and seasoning cube. I'm going to give this a good um, shake or a good mix. I added some water to it to cook, and now I'm adding the chopped okra to the um, mixture. So I'm just going to mix this up all together so there's a perfect balance and let it cook. Now you can add, or I am adding palm oil generously to this seafood okra and giving this a good mix you can go in with your palm oil as much as you want because this is a keto diet you can't do too much with fat so this is a good zoom at what my seafood okra looks like i mean <laughs> once you eat this you feel like you're in heaven so see the beauty of my seafood okra you can't tell me this won't go down well that's why i prefer chopping your okra rather than grating Feel free to dig in into your seafood okra. Now I have my clean cut fish, some pepper soup spice, cameron pepper, salt and some grated pepper and also two seasoning cubes. Into this water I'm going to add my pepper soup spice, I'm going to add my pepper and salt and my seasoning cube into the boiling water and cover this up for it to boil. Once it's boiled, I'll go in with my cut fish, I like going in with the head first so it gets soaked in properly and add the remaining fish into my pepper soup spice. I'm just going to cover this up and leave it to cook. So you can do this with chicken, turkey, or beef. But I prefer using fish because it digests really quick. I was so lazy to get some saint leaves, so I'm just spraying or sprinkling some parsley on my catfish pepper soup. So this is what my meal looks like. Next, I'm going to go in with some almond flour or almond powder, um, a teaspoon of baking powder, half a cup of vanilla, half a teaspoon of salt, and three large eggs and some coconut oil you can use butter if you want and some pepper because here we go girl 
next i'm going to put some sweetener into the shake and mix this really good like give it a good beat next i'll add some water to it because the consistency i had was too thick so i'm just going to keep on mixing this until there is no lump in it i like to use this bottle because it has a pointed tip i'm just going to transfer the mixture into this bottle so my application or whatever i want to do can be easier for me I'm just going to cover this up and pour it into my hot pan. I already sprayed some oil into my hot pan, coconut oil, and this is how it looks. This is a pancake. I'm just going to try and, you know, open up the sides to see if it's dry enough for me to flip it over. I'm not a professional at this. My flipping is so bad, I had to use an assisted spoon to flip. So I'm not going to show you. This is what it looks like being flipped i'm doing this or i'm going to be repeating this until it is or until the mixture is finished so this is what my pancake looks like you can have this for breakfast you can have this as lunch you can have these scrambled eggs bacon sausage and there are syrups that are um, keto compliant so you can also look out for those and have them next i'm going to add some pepper ginger powder garlic powder some crayfish some cameroon pepper two covers of apple cider vinegar a cube of a seasoning cube some salt and some coconut oil and this is my clean tilapia fish i'm going to go in with this mixture on my tilapia fish and add it generously to it um the seasoning couldn't get into the fish so i'm going to use a knife to cut in between the fish so i can sneak in some seasoning or some spice into the tilapia fish so i'm just going to use my knife to push it in and do the same thing to the other side of the fish so yeah this is me taking in some spice into my fish and i'm just going to continue to do this and onto the next fish until i am satisfied with the covering or with the spread i have this is the next um, fish I have here and I did the same thing to it and I'm just going to put that in the oven. So this is what it looks like. This is so nice. You can have this as lunch, you can have this as brunch. Whenever you're hungry, just eat it in between your meals and you'll be fine. This goes in well. So next I have my eggplant. These two here and I'm going to dice it up into smaller bits you can make them smaller than this you can make them bigger than this it totally depends on your preference but this is how i like to um, dice mine i'm just going to transfer this into a pot and add some um, water for it to boil so um after i add water i'm going to put this on the fire to boil and this is what it looks like having been boiled next i'm going to blend it up then pour it back into the pot next i'm going to be adding some xylem husk also known as a binder this is what i'm going to use to or this is what is going to bind my um, eggplant together so it can form as a mold and i'm just going to keep turning until i am satisfied with the mixture or with the consistency i have or i get with my um, eggplant so whenever you hear people say eggplant amala does it look any different no honey like it's so good and it tastes like amala so my swallow lovers there you are not left out this is the finished look of my um, eggplant amala